Well, I'm here with Steve Coburn, co-owner of, of California Chrome, who expressed his anger very forcefully after his horse fa failed to win the Belmont Stakes and the Triple Crown over the weekend. His wife, Carolyn, is here as well. We're going to talk to them in just a moment, but we, in case you didn't see it, this is what Steve said right after the race on Saturday. That's right. It's all or nothing. It's all or nothing. Because this is not fair to these horses that have been running their guts out for these people and for the people that believe in them. For have somebody to come up like this is a coward's way out, in my opinion. This is a coward's way out. I don't oh, we could see, Carolyn, that mm -hmm. you were there trying, trying to get to him. Steve, you were talking with Dan yesterday morning here on Good Morning America, and he asked if you had any regrets to what you said, and you emphatically said no, no regrets. How do you feel this morning, Steve? Very ashamed of myself. Very ashamed. I, uh, I need to apologize to a lot of people, including my wife, Carolyn. Uh, first of all, I, I need to apologize to the winners. They run a beautiful race. Their horse won the race. They deserve that. I did not mean to take anything away from them. So I want to apologize to everybody associated with Tunnelist, his trainer, Mr. Clement. I sincerely apologize. I want to apologize to all the horse racing in the world. I want to apologize to my wife, Carolyn, who she has literally stood behind me since we started this journey. I want to apologize to my partner, Perry Martin, and his family. Why people are going to say the reversal now? I mean, it's very good of you to, to own up, and, and people were highly critical because it was such a, a wonderful story leading up to this, giving such people people hope. Carolyn, what were you trying to tell your husband on Saturday then? I, I'm going to be honest. I don't remember exactly what I said. I just know, you know, he was very emotional and I was trying to calm him down um, and remind him that he was speaking loudly. But exactly what I was saying, I don't know, but I know what I was trying to get across to him. And so having time to, to think about it and giving credit to Tonalist because was the was the victor yes it was and so what would you want to say especially to everyone that followed that horse and its owners congratulations you've got a fantastic horse and he deserved the win he won the race fair and square he deserved to win and how is california chrome we know that he, he was injured coming out of the well, gate he made contact with another horse and he got stepped on really bad on his right front foot mm -hmm. and tore some of the foot away but he'll be all right. He'll be able to race and, you know, again, it's going to take probably 10 days to two weeks to heal him up. But, you know, I, I, and I need to apologize to Art Sherman and his family, our trainer, and everybody that's been on this trail with us. And I need to apologize to the world and America, our fans that have written us and given us so much support. I apologize. I sincerely apologize. Well, we can see the emotion, and you are an emotional man. And I know part of it is that, as we were saying, it was s such a great story, and so this, many. This is America's horse. Were well, you just caught up so in so much for this horse to win the Triple Crown for the people of America? And I was a very, I was, I was very emotional, very emotional. Did anything contribute to that emotion? Were, was there celebrating going on beforehand? Is if it's just the emotions of the whole journey all coming together at one time. Well, this is a lesson for us still because everyone was just so enthralled with the story, and, and part of it was that you were you were new to this. And yes. I know joking a little bit about the name DAP, mm -hmm. you know, with that we people who follow know what that stands for um, and having the jackass as the logo but having to to learn is that what you think this was also part of a a learning process for you yes it is it's a learning process for us and uh, I'm gonna do better I promise you I'll do better and what do you want to say to your husband now I, 
I'm proud of you for coming up here and doing this. And <laughs> it was something that we needed to have done. Mm -hmm. And um, I hope I hope people can see him the way he is because this that wasn't the way he normally is. He's a very compassionate man. And if, if people could have seen behind the scenes the children he talked to, the children he embraced, a little young lady in a wheelchair at uh, Preakness, he handed her a bouquet of Black-Eyed Susan, a little boy in Kentucky that was a little mentally challenged that we're going to send a picture to and, and some of our hats. You know, people could see that part of him. They can forgive the other part that happened. And, and I, I just, you know, it's been this last year we've given so much joy, this horse and our journey. And our story has given so much joy to so many people and I hope this 30 seconds isn't going to destroy all of that. California Chrome will run again? Yes, he's home. Yes. He okay. left uh, yesterday, no, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday right. was That's yesterday. At 11.30 he got there about 3.30 California time and he's doing good. All right. Well, Carolyn, thank you, Steve. I know it Thank it takes you so a, much. It takes a lot to come and say that you Thank you so you much for mistake. having us back. We I, I needed to do this. I needed to do it because I was wrong. Well, it's very big of you. We appreciate that. Thank Still you. learning from you. Thank you, Thank Steve. You very much. All Thank the you best. so much. All the best Thank going you. forward.